The NFL Super Bowl is arguably one of the world's greatest sporting events. Next to the Soccer World Cup, football for my European viewers, the Olympics, and even the greatest game of all time, Space Jam. Yet, you can't watch the first Super Bowl anywhere. It's not available to buy, rent, or even find on some dark corner of the web. That's because there is only one copy of the videotape in the world, and it's stuck in a deep dark vault. I'm Nick from Fountain Explained, and this is the story of the first Super Bowl tape. Now, you may have never heard of Troy Hupp, a nearly 50-something nurse from North Carolina, but he is well known to the powers that be at the NFL as the man with a plan who has in his protection the only tape of the first Super Bowl. Our story actually begins back in 1967. Troy's late father, Martin Hulp, recorded the game on an ancient quadruplex taping machine. This is well before the advert of home taping devices, and this machine itself was quite rare. Little did he know that CBS, NBC, and the NFL would have their own copies of the broadcast taped over in the near future. Back then, tapes were valuable, more so than the content that was recorded on them. There are countless stories of how TV stations constantly recorded over magnetic tape strips from that era, such as BBC losing entire episodes of the first few seasons of Doctor Who. The lack of footage of the first Super Bowl was so sought after that in 2005, Sports Illustrated proclaimed that a copy of this game would be worth $1 million for anyone who could find it. Hearing this years later, Troy remembered that his father had some old tapes handed to him and said that one day it might pay off his children's college degrees. Racing upstairs, he found the tape that had 75% of the game, not including the ending nor the halftime show. But it was still the only copy of the first Super Bowl broadcast ever made. Troy would approach the NFL and show them the tape and would ask for a price of around $1 million. In 2016, the NFL made around 15 billion US dollars, so the asking price was really not out of the question, especially for something, if broadcast, would probably make it back within the first ad break. The NFL's response to this one-of-a-kind original game? An offer for $30,000. Now this is where it gets interesting. Troy has argued that the tape is an item of history and that he should be able to sell it to either the NFL or someone else for the value that he believed it would be worth. The NFL has argued that they own the rights to the game and thus he has no rights to sell it to anybody else. Written in a letter to Troy, the NFL state, since you have already indicated that your client is exploring opportunities for exploitation of the NFL's Super Bowl 1, copyrighted yet with unidentified third parties, please be aware that any resulting copyright infringement will be considered intentional, subjecting your client and those parties to injunction relief and special damages, along other remedies. So, does the NFL actually have a solid argument? Well, they certainly do own the rights to the broadcast, but do they own a copy of it? Can they use copyright law from the 1970s, from years after the game took place, and retroactively apply it to this tape? And Troy is only meaning to sell the tape, he's not trying to broadcast it himself, so is he voiding copyright of the only single copy that he is not duplicating? Since then, the NFL has put together old clips into a full game and is using it as the first Super Bowl broadcast. However, the first true copy of the game only exists in a vault controlled by Troy. And until these two parties can come to an understanding, that's where it will sit. There is another solution that Troy may have not yet considered. He could actually sell back the footage to the NFL, but then say that the physical tape that the footage is stored on can be bought for the small price of $970,000. What do you think? Should the NFL or Troy own the tape? Let us know in the comments. 
And if you like this video, then be sure to subscribe and follow us for more found and explained stories.